Hey guys and happy Monday morning to you. I hope you are doing well. Today I am working in my dilutions journal. It's the bigger one. I don't really know. Is it like a 11 by something or yeah that one. Y'all know I'm great at that part of this. <laughs> so I'm going in and I'm actually not going to speed this video up because it took me nine minutes or so um i do have a pause feature on my um camcorder so i did use that briefly i think during this um simply because my husband came in and was talking to me so this is a really very fast page <clears throat> i wanted um to not have to stress or worry about um you know focals or really composition and really just letting the energy flow um this is a video i did um just uh the day before this airs and before i headed out to for another work trip so i really just wanted a, fl a free flowing um expressive very um just you know just let it go like just being free and being able to play within your art should not be stressful and so I hope if you're first joining this my channel for the first time that's what I do here is um you know life is too stressful outside of um art that art really shouldn't be stressful and this should be our place to play and explore and enjoy ourselves so that's what i'm using within this journal i'm not um going i actually went into this knowing i wasn't going to use like a quote unquote like focal image that i just wanted to kind of explore some mark making and some playing and that peach color is actually from a broken neo color too i think it is salmon pink but i could be totally off there um i the part that was broken did not have the color on there so and y'all know i don't really pay attention to that anyway i'm going to directly end here with um gesso in my finger that i love i've talked about this gesso a hundred times i love deco arts um, media gesso it just is smooth it comes in that jar so i can dip my fingers which i know somebody is gonna hate that you can wear gloves whatever really floats your boat around here i'm going in directly with this chalk paint i like it because it's super matte and like chalky finish and this color with that peach just is magical to me and I'm using the supplies that I already have on my desk because we know that my MO is uh, just to grab what's handy. And that's my excuse as to why my um, my table always is a mess is because I think it helps my creativity. Now that paper tape is actually I've had it for so long. Um, it's the kind that has like the peel off back not like the washi tape kind. But I just love polka dots and I love the black and you know the cream i don't know so it was there why not use it and then i'm going in here with this yummy delicious mustard color this is actually like a um thicker paint by golden um i it's just because it was handy and sitting right there so i actually took these little giblets of masking tape off of the top of my gesso jar it's probably been there forever just because it was handy so that's what this page is all about it's removing the stress from our lives and just digging into the art this is a perfect page and way to create for someone who tends to be a little intimidated by the blank page i'm now just going into the random pieces and little um baggies that i have on my desk and i love this um this is like a 1958 envelope and so it has some wear and tear on it and uh my body's been feeling like it has a little wear and tear on it so i figured this was perfect and actually now in hindsight i like that it kind of looks like an arrow peeking up and i didn't see it when i was really in the middle of it because i turned on the camera guys and to be honest i forgot that i had the camera on like literally 
I was like, hold up, I'm actually filming this. So I'm just letting like the energy and the piece just kind of create itself. And I like using the um, blending stump that has charcoal on it just to grunge up and bring a little definition to some of the areas like the torn piece um, there in the corner. I, I also really like how fine lines of pencils and scribbles um, in the background can often uh, bring additional energy and like um, interest to a page. So I scribble on all the things. And then this is like a vintage uh, workbook um, paper. That I have and I like really old papers because they just have that coloring that you can't get um, you know any other way just natural patina there and so I'm going in with that and I tore off the part that says like one two three and then I don't know what that small little oh I know I tore off a piece of the black and white or cream and uh, black polka dot and guys I think this is like a old either like Tim Holtz a uh, paper tape or maybe um what it was something like gypsy something gypsy graphic 40 I don't know so you may or may not still be able to make it I haven't seen it in a long time but it's one of those things like I've just kept and just use a little giblet here and there so that I stretch it out for a really long time we all have supplies like that and then I'm just taking random little things. I thought that the dark at the bottom was a little bit too strong for what I was going for. Um, so I'm using that blending stump to go over the masking tape and just create a little definition so that you know that it's there. You'll see the still images at the end so you can kind of see the details of the page. And um, I really hope that this has inspired you just to play and stop stressing about what it's going to look like and just play 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 and then I saw this little um piece I think this might have been like a rusty coffee filter or something I really don't know where it came from but it was in my giblet bag and so I just like stuck it down there and I thought it was just a perfect little addition that it needed and then I am going to put you on guys on pause because I've got to run and go get my micro uniball um, air pen I've talked about this and if you've watched or follow me on Instagram when I travel a lot for work this is kind of my MO to do my faces in is this uniball micro um, pen and so I decided that I wanted it to be a little bit darker and I was actually going to use my handwriting because it's mine and nobody else has the handwriting that I do even though I don't love it um, I'm going to let it go. So, and then I am using this pen to put this is who I am. I am messy. I am expressive. I'm an artist. And that's who I am in this page. So, I'm going to take now this um, water watery paintbrush to kind of um, let it flow a little bit and mess it up so it's not so pristine um, around there and then I really like that so I decided I'm going to go around it with um, and darken that a little bit and then add some scribbles of the dark with that pen and then kind of mess it up with the water now this pen is actually permanent once it dries but if you get it on the right paper and you get it when it's wet you can move it a little bit to make it bleed and that's why it's so cool to do faces with this because it like creates the shadows for you so I hope that you're inspired to create and play in your journals and create messy art Again, thank you so much for joining me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And also make sure you hit that little bell so you get a notification whenever um, I post new videos. I hope you're having an amazing new year and that you leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please do because I love seeing um, your artwork as well. And until next time, guys, to live.